this is Ina with Inichka Chef and welcome to my kitchen. Today in the episode we are not cooking but we are rather looking for my essential ingredients, my spices. As you notice by now, if you're watching, watching my channels, I love spices. I'm a big lover of spices. And I have to say, I become lover of spices when I start learning about cooking, especially cooking around the world, different cuisines, and that's where I become very aware about spices can make so much difference on the most boring food. Never mind, spices is very healthy. They are in my life every day my kitchen, my medicine cabinet, everywhere. And today I would like to introduce my spices and my love to spices. Spices can have more health benefits than some fresh produce. I grew up in Ukraine and Ukraine is not big on spices, especially my mom who cook very, very basic <laughs> food. I didn't love spices much back then. She used few spices. Sometimes I receive spices from my friends who come back from overseas some trip and they bring me unique from that particular region spices and I will show you and share with you what kind of spices I have absolutely unique and I so appreciate <laughs> to have them in my pantry and today I want to show you my favorite spices something that I use every single day and something that I absolutely cannot live without <laughs> But before we dig into, I would like to mention about there are four categories of spices. Sweet, savory, sour, and hot. For the sweet one, it's very um, simple like cinnamon and vanilla, right? And this, I have uh, made homemade vanilla extract and cinnamon. And cinnamon is so different varieties of cinnamon. And if you ever been in special store, in fact, Two years ago in our town, Beaufort, South Carolina, an open tea and spice exchange store downtown. It's so unique and it's so beautiful. They have different variety, different spices. In fact, they have, I believe, six different kinds of cinnamon. And I love to go there and choose the good quality, always fresh. So if you're local, please stop by and check. Another category of spices is salad. Uh, and salad, it can be Zumark. It's a unique spice and very famous, one of the essential ingredient in the Middle East cooking. So Lebanese food cannot be imagined without zumek. If you make patouche salad or tabbouleh or really anything uh, what they cook, they like to add for a little bit zumek. Little gives the zinc slightly sour, like lemony, and also um, aftertaste salty, tiny bit. Another spice is barberry. On Russian, on Russian we call barbaris and it's essential in Asian uh, cooking like um, for the rice pilaf. Many countries like Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, they all cook in rice some kind of different way. They all um, delicious. <laughs> I make quite a bit often with lamb, chicken or vegetarian and barbary it's very must have for those dishes and I like to get this from Russian store or online and I will link below for my spices where I'm getting and I like to buy in bulk as you notice everything um, in the mason jars I would rather pay for quality versus from tiny bit in container from a grocery for the package. The next category is bitter, ginger and turmeric. We all know how good for you, how good for your health and so many health benefits. <laughs> we, I don't have to repeat that, but in many of my recipes, and I will link below, I use this quite a bit often for my drinks or food. And it has very much punch, <laughs> but I love it. And if you get used to, you will love to, I promise. And turmeric, beautiful, bright yellow color. And the last category is hot spices, kind of like cayenne pepper, <laughs> spicy paprika, not the sweet one, chipotle, and many others. But cayenne is something that I use every day besides chili and paprika. Paprika, I like use variety, <laughs> sweet, smoke, they're all good. <laughs> if you're not big on spicy food, try to add a little bit, just a pinch, 
and see how you're doing and increase as you go. When you're working with spices, it's not necessarily spicy, hot, spice used for savory dishes and sweet for desserts. It quite a bit can be opposite. Like for example, cinnamon, I mentioned many recipes in Moroccan cuisine, Lebanese, we use this for savory, like for stew, soups, and many other dishes. And versus like chili, very spicy, I can literally put in a, a, something chocolate to dessert, or sometimes um, if you saw my recipe for cranberry sauce, savory cranberry sauce, I add a pinch of um, black, pep uh, black pepper. And it's all good, it's beautifully um, kind of highlights the flavor and doesn't have to be always dessert sweet and over sweet but sometimes little hint along with salt it brings in more flavor and more health benefits is there the reason why sometimes spice married with other spice because it's for the best health benefit as a mom I have to also mention about how important to introduce spices to little ones as early as possible I hear so many times when mom said, oh, we don't need spice for children, hardly salt or pepper, but uh, salt or sugar. <laughs> but I would say in my house, sugar, that's the last thing I would add. But any other spices, it's essential to add orally, as orally as possible. And many cultures around the world do that. Like for example, Mexican. It's not surprised if mom will make chili flakes add to baby food and it's the reason people been around the world doing this for thousand thousand years and it's all right the less um, the more flavor you add the less picky eater you will have later on and i see from my children how they eat they don't afraid salad or bitter flavor taste they love it they go for it you don't have to make them they just love it that they used to, I can say they don't like sweets, they obviously do, but they eat any type of category of food and it's beneficial for them and also make me happy they can eat different variety of food without turning their nose, oh, we don't like, I don't want to even taste. <laughs> Every spice has unique, unique benefits to your health and I think most of them has essential for your health benefits like heart disease can heal from inflammation from many many other things headache and so forth um, as a mom right now also i'm working on lactation and it's important for me so spice like fenugreek it's must <laughs> i use for soups and i use make tea and also fennel it's not only for in Italian food but it's good to make tea or many other things like add to dressings also when baby has colicky dill, dill or fennel, uh, fennel seeds it's how can baby come down and have um, and, and relax it really helps them I try and other things I want to say about king of all spices believe or not I think it's black pepper. Not only my opinion, but many specialists think black pepper has the most antioxidants from all pepper, from all spices. Um, another thing uh, about peppers, they come in pink, green, white, or black. They come from the same plant, just different um, process of producing, the different process how they dry, and some is mature, some is under mature. But it's the same plant and pretty much has similar health benefits and if you cannot afford or cannot find different peppers don't stress about it. i have variety i have even citrusian, pe citrusian pepper green and pink and i'm using it for asian cooking when i uh, prepare some asian dishes uh, white i like to use when i make scallops or some eggs or mac and cheese when i don't want to see black peppercorns on a white dish I'm using white pepper and my Johnny he's very particular so he see white dots sometimes he say mom it's spicy I'm like no it's not <laughs> but um, it's just fun to use different but 
if you have only black pepper, use it. The only thing I would mention, always buy whole uh, peppercorns and grind yourself. It's so easy. Um, I grind every time when I need it or I'm using a coffee grinder and I grind my spices as well. And it's quick, easy, few seconds, but if you use fresh pepper, and it has so much kind of sweet notes as well, but has a lot of punch. If you cannot compare to grinded peppers what you get in from supermarkets, so I always grind. And about salt as well, I grind myself. I'm buying Celtic salt for years. I like it's unprocessed and has all minerals. I believe 17 different minerals, and it comes in different shapes. Um, different form <laughs> or granular and if I want to put like table salt I grind myself and as a salt I like to use is pink salt Himalayan salt most cooking and also sometimes kelp it's seaweed and it actually came from Maine <laughs> local I would say that didn't come from overseas and I use to salt um, many dishes as well on eggs actually nice and gives nice dose of iodine as well as all seaweed <laughs> so that's what I'm using for salt another my everyday uses it's uh, garlic powder onion powder also cinnamon thyme um, black pepper paprika those spices and turmeric of course i use every single day from breakfast to dinner to tea to hot chocolate uh, spice uh, indian tea and many other things and soup as well as well you can use and <laughs> fill your soup pot with so many different spices as long as they are matched and married together and um, they will be delicious I would like to show you the most expensive spice in the world, it's saffron, right? And this one particularly came from Iraq, my friend brought me when he visited. <laughs> and it's uh, very special, for special occasion, it's not for everyday use, it's quite a price. It's also vanilla beans, as I show early, it's quite a bit expensive, I believe like $10, one piece, but well worth it for special cooking, <laughs> not every day, every day I use extract. But for special occasion, I like to use vanilla bean. bean. It's truly worth it. As you notice, I like to buy spices in bulk and keep them in mason jars. Sometimes I some spices keep in freezer, but most important to buy them whole. They last longer, like coriander. It's very important to not buy ground cumin seed, coriander seed, and dill seeds. All those seeds it can be used as whole or grind but grind you always can grind and pepper as well so better to buy whole and they last longer and you can do so many things like um, some kind of dry wrap and it's easy it's so quick you not only saving money and you also can make fresh and better result and avoid all fillers what they put in <laughs> wrap like unnecessary sugar salt if you don't need this don't use it it's better to do your own and you can be confident what in your spice wrap i hope today i inspire you to use more spices in your life spice your life you will see and feel all health benefits and you will be thankful i hope you enjoy my video and in the description below as always i will mention a link all everything what i mentioned today all the recipes where i'm using spice pretty much every recipe <laughs> If you haven't watched my channel yet, and spices where I'm buying. I hope you enjoyed this video and give me a like and subscribe. Bye, see you next time.